In this video, we're going to go over a couple of different items. We're going to review the hidden class as well as using multiple classes to size your elements for the particular devices. So first, let's talk about the hidden class. And if we take a look at our grid here, let's say we have some work to do on this column seven. Something's wrong with it, we need to fix it. And so temporarily, we just wanna go ahead and hide it. Well, we can do that with the hidden class in Bootstrap. This is very similar to when you hide elements in CSS. Bootstrap just makes it a little bit easier to do. So again, we wanna just go ahead and hide our column seven. So let's flip to our code. And all we do is come down here and we're just gonna go ahead and tag on a hidden keyword here, which will invoke the hidden class. So let's go ahead and save this and let's just make sure that column is no longer there and it isn't, take a look at that. Now let's say that column seven looks okay in our grid in medium sized and large sized devices, but it has a problem when we minimize it. When we go down here and we minimize it, it doesn't look so good. So we only wanna minimize it for extra small devices. Well, we can do that as well. So we just come here, we put in a hyphen and then put in XS for extra small devices. Now this should only be hidden on small devices or when we are on a small resolution. So let's go ahead and save this, let's reload this and hopefully this will now load on the medium sized resolution and it does. Now let's go ahead and minimize it and let's make sure it's gone and it is. So that's how that works, it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and we're back to normal. We'll just go ahead and save to keep everything clean. Now, what we've been doing so far is we've had all of our column size in this medium sized resolution, but let's go ahead and load our web page again. So what we've done is everything we've used has been the MD device type for the size of our columns. And even when we minimize these, these are still in the MD size type. Now, maybe we want these columns, let's actually maximize out here. Maybe we, maybe we want these bottom columns here to size differently when we go to a smaller device type or a smaller resolution. Well, we can do that using multiple classes. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and close out of our browser. And what we're gonna do is tag on another class here. And let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. So paste right here. And we're gonna make this extra small. And let's set this to six, size six. And you know what, let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this into all of our columns here. And there we go. So let's go ahead and do a save. Now what should happen now is when we're in a larger resolution, we'll still get this MD size, but when we go to a small device or an extra small resolution, we'll get this new column size. So let's go ahead and load our page and let's see what we get. So there you can see we've got our medium size column still in this larger resolution. Now let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll see what we get. Take a look at that. See how that's different? Now the extra small class that we created is kicking in. And these probably size a little bit better for a smaller device type, as you can see. Probably a little bit nicer than these larger columns. Maybe you want this size. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you.